Hey, Rylan's here. Let me show you how I made a simple time tracker with React and Node.js so you can find interesting bits for your project. It's not technically sophisticated because the goal was to make a functioning MVP in a few days. So it should be easy to grasp. Here we have a habit page where you can track habits, create habits and see the progress over the time. We include the add habit button with the page title and when the user state is ready, we render today's progress and active habits. We pull the user state on app start and cache it in the local storage using React query. The habit interface has an ID, name, emoji, color and timestamp of start date. To know the day the user executed the habits, we store an array of successes. We use the to habit date function to convert the date to a string that will contain the day, month and year. On the card with today's progress, we take habits from the user's state and show them as a list of habit items. We check if the date is an array of successes to know if the user has done it today. To update both local and remote states on change, we use the use track habit mutation. Here we make an optimistic update of the local state and query the GraphQL API. We have four mutations to manage habits. Create, update, delete and track. Here, every operation involves updating the user in DynamoDB because habits is a map object in the user item with ID as a key. We could have stored habits as an array too, but it would be more expensive because we would need to get all the habits every time we want to read a single habit. With map tab, we can execute set and remove operation using the key and take a single habit we need using projection expression. It would have been more efficient to use a set of strings for dates, yet I didn't want to complicate the code considering the DynamoDB doesn't allow empty sets. Also, we have the read-only view of active habits on the landing page. To achieve it, I wrapped the preview with two providers. Landing user state with a mock user state and another provided tailoring components via in a read-only mode. To calculate the trick with recursion, going one day back until the date is missing in the successes array. To show the colored habits map, we go over the last 30 days and render the habit day component. It shows either a green or gray rectangle, provides a tooltip with date on hover, and by clicking on it, you can trigger the value if you forgot to track a habit before. That's all. Let me know what you think and stay productive.